What is up guys? Welcome to another mouse comparison video on my channel. You know, if you've been around for a while, you know I did a budget mouse shootout a while back. Link to that video right here. Um, but I figured I would do two higher end and probably two of the most popular mice out on the market right now. The Razer Death Adder and the Steel Series Sensei. Now this is the raw version of the Sensei. You know, you can't get like a white version or like a glossy version, but the raw was on sale at Walmart of all places for 50% off, so I got this mouse for $30, and I was like, I've always been curious about that mouse, let's give it a go. So, went ahead, bought that, and I honestly was not expecting much. As I mentioned in my budget mouse video, every single one of those felt a little bit awkward to me. It may have been because they were all budget mice, and they, you know, weren't the most ergonomical things on the planet, but nonetheless, I was very skeptical going into this, especially changing my grip from a palm grip to a claw grip. And let me tell you, I'm really, really surprised at how well I was able to transition over to something like the Sensei. Now you can see in a side-by-side -side comparison, I'll try to get some B-roll that really gives this uh, a little more justice here, but they're basically the same size, but they don't have, you know, the same cut-in curves as, as each other. Now the Sensei is an ambidextrous mouse, so it is made for lefties as well. That's why it is, you know, very uniform in shape, where the Death Adder has these very, very dramatic curves in it that um, really fit a right-handed person. Obviously, you can get the left-handed version of the mouse, but anyway, um, this is just out of the box ambidextrous. Uh, also, you notice there is a DPI switch, so it basically you can set in the software a high and low DPI. It does have all adjustable DPIs, and um, basically you just click that button, so you can go from say. Uh, I really use it when my I'm opping in CSGO because my flick shot is used to a little bit higher sensitivity. So um, basically I can zoom down sights, click that in and boom, my flick shot is back on. And then if I'm using like an, a rifle or an AK, I might leave it on the lower sensitivity. That way I can really be accurate at long ranges. It's really handy and you can set it, like I said, to a custom DPI. So normally I run the mouse at like 1600 DPI and then if I click it in, maybe it will hop up to like 1800, 2000, somewhere in there. So you don't have to have these huge drastic built-in steps of DPI, you can set them custom. Really, really handy. Didn't think I was really gonna use that at first, but once I got accustomed to it, I really like it. Moving on to another feature of the Sensei, since it is ambidextrous, it obviously does have the side buttons on both sides. What I did is went ahead and disabled these two side buttons in um, the software because I noticed myself kind of clicking them on accident. Um, but that's an easy fix. Two seconds in the software, you can disable those. Or if you really aren't finding yourself running into them, then you can leave them enabled and you know, it's two more buttons on your mouse. Uh, for the Death Adder, you know, there's really not much to it, but it's so tried and true and it just works well for what it is that, um, you know, the features are just the basic, basic features. You know, you can change your DPI in the software, you got your two mouse buttons, and that's it. The reason it sells so well is just comfortable. It, it's tried and true, like I said, it's just a good mouse. Everybody likes it. Now getting into the big differences between the two mice. So the Death Adder really caters to the palm grip. You can try to claw it, but it really doesn't feel quite as natural as something like the Sensei. Um, I was really skeptical, like I mentioned, going to a claw grip, but once I got used to it, like honestly, one or two days, and I felt right at home with this thing. Whereas with those budget mice I was shooting out, I used them for like three, four days, and I just could not get comfortable. I ended up going back to my Death Adder pretty much instantly after I was done uh, reviewing those mice. So. Whenever I, I got to this mouse, I was very, very happily surprised with it. Again, like I said, I'll have some B-roll giving you better dimensions and ideas of the, of the difference between the two, but I just wanted to make this video and show you guys my opinions and, and kind of give you a better viewing angle if you're in the, in the dark about which ones you want to buy or which mouse in particular you want. Those are two options. The Steel Series does have a Steel Series rival, which is very much like the Death Adder as far as the height on the mouse. Um, the Sensei is fairly low profile, which really caters to the claw grip, like I said, but if you have more of a palm grip, the Rival has the nice arch back that uh, will really be conducive to a palm grip. Anyways, guys, if you have any questions or you want to know anything really specific about the mice, I'd be more than happy to answer them in comments or make, you know, a second video follow-up for anything that you might need to know. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for checking out this video, and I will talk to you later.